Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today, I'm excited to get to hear two things together that intrigue me. First of all, an experimental metal group that's new to me that y'all have been recommending a ton, and Maynard James Keenan. Maynard's voice has always impressed me, and his musicianship is incredible. So I'm very intrigued to get to hear him in this new setting. Let's get to it. using so many um, strange sounds in an almost cinema kind of way. It reminds me a little bit of Metallica. Right? We've got a lot of interesting sounds that have been put in there. Uh, a lot of electronic static. Uh, yeah, it just, it rings bells of Metallica to me. Other bands too. But it, Almost sounds like various, both mechanical and digital sounds. I love the emergence of a voice in there. It's like this, this bit of real pitch that we can latch on to. There is a drone that's low too. That's something. This is so fascinating how all we have right now is essentially a very dissonant line that's, ah, it's minor, it's um, playing with some half steps in there as well, lots of dissonance, and then a voice that's breathing, not even making a true pitch. I, and we have some drums underneath there, but they don't have a true pitch. It's... It's a fascinating combo. I I was intrigued before and I am more intrigued now. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. We'll keep going. The build is great. I have a lot of anticipation. kind of magical. The voices back and forth here. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's so much emotion and uh, expression in their voices. I'm going to go back to the beginning of this vocal entrance, but um, I have to say uh, it's Chino Moreno, I believe is a uh, lead singer. Chino, Chino, I think it's Chino. Um, 
I can hear the influence of Tool and a perfect circle in his performance. You can really tell that he looks up to Maynard. And at the same time, he's a different voice. And I'll talk a little bit about the difference between their timbres. But I think maybe because of that influence and intensity in both of their sounds, it is such an incredible combination. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is the definition of it being ensorcelled. <laughs> they just grabbed me. So both of these voices have this extreme intensity without necessarily yelling or screaming. Um, Maynard is able to bring across amazing intensity without actually having a loud dynamic. That's really hard to do, okay? Really hard to do. Uh, oh, it's incredible. It has, he... Sometimes in the way he's enunciating something, you feel like he's just got this stored up, pent up energy that needs to be bitten out, right? Like he just needs to um, chew on something <laughs> because it's so intense. Wow. And then uh, Gino is, I hear intensity in his air expression and the way he also has that same aspect from Maynard that he doesn't have to be super loud to be intense. He's able to bring quiet intensity, but he does get, I think, a bit louder overall at times. And he's able to add these sort of creaks into his sound as well and a little bit more distortion to add to some of that intensity. Maynard can add distortion too for that. He's just not choosing to at this moment. There's that creek I was talking about. And I really think that he's using air intensity, having like a little more breath around the sound to add to the feeling of breathlessness. I, the way that, that Chino sings sideways, I feel like Maynard could sing that in the same way. There's just something really similar in their voices. Also, they're singing in pitches that are right next to each other, often picking up on a pitch that the other one just left off on. Uh, what a cool, what a cool duet. What a cool design of the song with these voices. They go so well next to each other. Okay, sorry. I'm going to go back and keep going. This is this is really delightful. Listen to the way he sings through consonants. Listen to that quiet, it's like a seething intensity. Oh, just, it makes me shiver. Um, 
So he's choosing to go to nasal consonants, which you can sing through. Most of the time, singers will choose to propagate the sound more on a vowel. Vowels have good sustain power. Maynard often is chewing into his consonants and elongating them extra. So instead of singing chrome, he'll sing chrome and elongate the M instead of the O. So chrome buttons. And he goes to the N there in buttons rather than leaning on the vowel before. You can really hear that airiness uh, in comparison, especially because Maynard lets a lot less air into the previous part, especially it's it's like, feels like it's almost contained in for him. Uh, and then when uh, Chino goes, you hear that air just coming right away. And then it, it seemed like Maynard also brought more airy breathiness into the sound right after that. <sighs> So much air. I I am in love with the intensity of the song. It is so, so fantastic. This feels like a wild, wild ride. And um, you know, I this the lyrics of the song are very sexual in nature, and you get the idea that there's a lot of intensity there as well. So I think it makes sense to have this kind of desperate expression. It's really, really impressive to me. I'm going to go back a little bit and talk about some of the awesome things. Oh, back further. This sounds so much like Tool to me in so many, so many ways. It's hard to put my finger on all of the ways. Um, I definitely uh, feel that it, it feels experimental, more progressive, more explorative. Uh, I think that it's fascinating how the drums are being used. Right? I mean, Danny Carey is just a drum god. He changed the way that I think about drumming. But you can hear how the patterns aren't, they just aren't normal here. They remind me of Danny Carey a lot. I love the way that that had so much line and intensity through that line. Obviously, Maynard is singing much, much louder now. And we get more of that distortion as well. But it just keeps pouring out the whole time. I don't feel like he's taking a break. It's It gets me in the gut. Okay, we'll keep going. Girl, that's such a, a good... I wanted to mention that before. He comes in on a sound that is essentially more nasal before opening up into I'm your passenger. Uh, it, I think it's very indicative of how Maynard likes or is drawn towards those more closed sounds like the nasal consonant. Oh. 
now the producer really has picked up on that airiness in Chino's tone as well. And you hear the uh, air puffs sort of being repeated in different areas. He's playing with it. He's highlighting it. air he is using in that expression. It, it really feels intimate and intense as you might expect such a situation to be. It's wow. It, it has that breathless feeling all throughout. Wow. Yeah. There's a, a hush in the sound. Oh my God. And I like the way he's really working in each word to draw out more expression. It feels very attached to the lyrics and um, driven by, yeah, by milking every bit of expression out of a word as he can possibly get. so much respect for Maynard and it's because of passages well it's because of everything but passages like this are one of the things that gets me when you're singing with that much intensity it can be really easy to blow a voice out and there are moments in his performances where I feel like he does go completely out 100% um, there are certain screams are extremely long, for example. But when he has these moments that feel like they're just ripping out emotion, I still hear in his voice that there is some protection of the instrument going on. So I think that is amazing channeling of so much raw emotion while still um, protecting this instrument that, you know, if you if you wreck it, you can't just go get a new larynx. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You have to take care of it. Um, and even a little bit of damage can affect a person a lot long term. I really, I think it's incredible how he keeps it self-contained yet delivers so much emotion, especially when I think about how much touring is and how night after night the toll that that can take on a voice. Wow. Very impressive. I'm going to go back a little bit. It's a fun pitch bin. Oh. Again, the way the band is playing with so much dissonance is super fascinating. They're, they really, 
I read somewhere that people think of them sometimes as like Radiohead in metal. I totally, I totally get that. They're, it feels like they're pushing some boundaries and playing extra with sound, hence the experimental metal. Very cool. So moody. Sometimes there are just sounds that get you, that, that suddenly shock you, right? And that was one of them. It like, like grated on my person somehow. Ugh, right? Like nails on chalkboard. Ugh. What an interesting sound to add to this bed of music. Oh. They've created this incredibly hazy atmosphere in the music. And I love the way that the voices are, they feel like they're in that haze. It feels smoky, steamy, right? There's something sort of heavy in the air, but again, intense and intimate. Oh my gosh. The overall vibe of this song is incredible. I think they've nailed this atmosphere so well. Ha <laughs> ha. Nailed this atmosphere. Oh gosh. Oh no. <laughs> It's so interesting um, that they have this lyric, take me to the edge. And then it's suddenly so dissonant in the music right afterwards. I do think that's really leaning on that experimental sound. Oh, what an interesting choice. Oh my gosh, the delay on that. Wow. Piano? Oh, this is weirdly haunting. Wow. Actually, I don't think that is the end. It looks like it continues to play. Do they just play this out in silence? Oh my gosh. It's mesmerizing. Whoa. Huh. Without being a wall of sound the entire time, this song is one of the most intense songs that I've ever heard. It is charged the entire time. Even the silence that we get to at the end still feels charged. I am shocked by how they're able to establish this atmosphere and draw us along 
wow, these voices go beautifully together. What an incredible combination. I, I feel so curious about what else Deftones has done at this point. So definitely let me know about that in the comments down below. And if you would like to hear some more analysis of Maynard's voice, you can check out this playlist over here. May you fall more in love with music every day.